What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to take a closer look at the recent Destiny Year 2 trailer that was just dropped by Bungie. In this trailer we've seen some very exciting points which I feel I need to cover in a video. I'll link the whole video in the video description if you guys do want to check it out. Okay getting straight into the video. The first interesting point comes 14 seconds into the trailer where we see a Titan Warlock and a Hunter running through the Dreadnought. What What's interesting here is all three guardians are kitted out in their own certain faction. From top to bottom the warlock is in dead orbit gear including weapons. The titan is kitted out in new monarchy and the hunter is in that future war cult. The titan if you look closely is holding a new monarchy themed Suros foundry weapon. The hunter is holding a future war cult themed Omolan hand cannon and the warlock has a dead orbit Omolan weapon. It's hard to make out at first what weapon the warlock is holding but for a brief second we see uh, the Amolan liquid ammo indicator on the side of the weapon. Whether or not this confirms faction weapon shaders or not it's hard to pinpoint because as Miss 5000 Watts pointed out to me on Twitter maybe Amolan, Suos and Hacker could offer faction weapons themselves. Who knows we're just gonna have to wait and see. Okay moving on to 18 seconds into the trailer we see a hunter in the character menu. We can see this hunter rocking that sexy blue rare armor, looking quite good to be honest. You can also see the artifact at the bottom right, and you may also notice this guardian is a level 40, but has only 214 light. This is obviously because of the armor he is wearing. It also clears a few things up when he hovers over the light level. It reads your light score, which I'm guessing is how we will refer to light level from now on. Your light score is an average attack and defense values across all of your currently equipped gear. A higher light score improves both your damage output and your defense. This does leave me thinking though, if you can have such a low light score at a high level, the highest level being 40, can you be a low level 30 for example and still rock gear which will make you equivalent light score wise to a level 40 this meaning your defense and attack value will be equal to that of a level 40 when you are 10 levels below this my fellow guardians is something i believe we will find out tomorrow when they stream another little addition they have added is the feature to see your weapons damage types by pressing l2 or left trigger this won't save you much time but it's still a nice addition here we can also see a blue rarity ghost now it has been confirmed that vendors will sell legendary ghost shells but it does make you wonder how you'll come across blue ghost shells maybe they'll be rewarded from earlier missions who knows we're just gonna have to wait and see moving on at 20 seconds in we see this incredible looking future war cult ship hopefully this design and ship model is exclusive to future war cult because they don't have much else going for them let's be honest Moving on, 22 seconds into the trailer, we see Shax, obviously from a hunter's standpoint. We get a basic description here of how you obtain legendary marks, which take over Vanguard and Crucible marks, I believe. You can also see that Shax has legendary ghost shells. It doesn't say it doesn't say what's needed in order to obtain them, but I'm guessing it won't be much different from the armors. We can also see he offers three ranks, or he has three ranks. Within the first rank, rank 1, he offers gauntlets, leg armors and class items. Rank 2, he offers, well we can see gold shells, I also believe that's a chest armor, but it's hard to make out. Rank 3 offers helmets. Now I'm guessing it will be the same across the board for all characters. Now moving on, at 24 seconds into the trailer we see the end of what I believe is their new strike playlist. I think the strike playlist is called Vanguard Ursa. Now I am led to believe this because of a Game Informer feature a couple days back where they did mention this new strike playlist and how it would reward us guardians legendary marks and engrams and as you can see by the feed it seems as though this is what was obtained we also get a closer look at the future war cult or molin hand cannon which looks pretty sweet now moving on we see the quest menu which i cannot wait to have a better look at we can also see that there's 16 bounty slots now six more than our current 10. another thing which i noticed from this snippet which I also spoke about earlier in the video, is how this dude is a level 30, but his light score is 320, which is higher than the light score we saw the Guardian, who was a level 40 at the beginning of the video, which sort of answers my question, but not completely. 
Moving on, pause at 27 seconds. Now I have not noticed this before and you can call me a noob, but is the hammer of Saul's hammer really an eagle? It looks indeed to be that way. Now this could be based on Ra, the Egyptian sun god, but it also ties into the Seattle Seahawks. As Seattle is where Bungie's headquarters is, who knows? It probably relates to both. Now moving on, at 28 seconds into the trailer we see the acceptance of the future war call allegiance which once accepted is I'm guessing where most your XP will go towards to level up. This is what they meant when they stayed you can wear any class item you want but your XP, your rep will go towards the faction you choose if you choose one. We can see it costs 2500 glimmer to join an alliance and you can only change once per week. Moving on another second into the trailer at 29 seconds into the trailer we get a better look at the new monarchy themed Suros Foundry weapon which looks absolutely incredible by the way it really does. Now at 33 seconds we see a few new features on screen such as shader collections, arms day and level 25 character boost which will be the boost new players or if you create a new character this will be the boost you receive to allow you to jump to that level 25 so you can jump straight into the action with the Taken King if you don't want to run the story from the start which is a good addition to be honest but I'd still want to run it from the start. Now moving on and we get a look at the exotic blueprints vault which is something I spoke about last week when they spoke about shader and emblem vaults I thought it would be pretty epic for there to be an exotic vault where you can keep all your exotic weapons and armors so we get that extra space in our initial vaults and it seems as though that is what's happening some interesting points here though let's start with your year one primaries it's clear these are weapons we currently have but why do we see some of the same weapons in the year two primary slots with upgraded icons it's clear on the bottom row of the year two primary we have the last word the hot moon and the bad juju on the top row we can see the Monte Carlo but what is that black and red weapon next to the Monte Carlo well guys I can confirm that the icon the 3d model is that of the Suez regime and you can see this by the picture on screen now so what is this and what are these year two primary weapons are they upgraded year one weapons this leads me to believe that they are this damn trailer is leaving me more questions than answers it really is now at the top of the screen we can also see collection 2 which is obviously another page which may contain your year 1 secondaries and heavies and your armors. But guys that is it, that is what I have scraped out of this trailer. If I missed anything interesting be sure to tell me what it is down below in that comments section. Now we just have to wait until the stream tomorrow night which should be pretty badass. All details about that stream will be in the video description. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Tell me your thoughts on what I've covered in this trailer and peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Will carry on We never get it right Left in the dark